Hi, this is Andy from Adobe, and today I'd like to show you a couple of new features that are coming to Adobe Scout. Now, first of all, here on the left side, you'll see there's a new session setting called Memory Allocation Tracking. Now, what this does is basically the Flash Player keeps track of all the objects that are added to and deallocated from memory, and it sends all that data to Scout so you can track it real time. So let's take a look. Now, first, I need some data, so I'm going to open a game called Hungry Hero, and this is by Hamant Sharma. And you can see that Scout is already capturing data in the background. So I'll get myself a little session of data to look at, and that should be enough. Now, usually in Scout, you would look at performance, but today I want to look at memory. So first, to get a big picture, I'll turn on memory up here. And next, I think I'll look at only memory in the middle. Now, as I look through my session, I can see there's a big drop off right here. So some memory got deallocated, and I'd like to know what it was. So over here in the summary panel, I'm going to turn on memory, and when I open these pull-downs, now I can see all the different types of memory that Flash keeps track of, and they're all separated by color. So it's pretty easy to look through and see that this green, well, it's clearly bitmap display objects, so something got deallocated. But I'd like to know what it was, and that's where this new panel comes in called memory allocations. Now there's allocations and deallocations. I'll stick with deallocations for right now. And when I make a selection, Scout is now giving me a report of every object that was freed up from Flash's memory during that span. So if I select the frame right after that green bar disappears, there, now I can see these bitmap display objects were being freed up, and I can see that there were seven of them and how much memory they took. So that's pretty cool, but next I'd like to know where these objects got allocated in the first place. So I'll switch this pull down back to allocations, and now Scout is going to give me a report of all the objects that got allocated or added to memory during that span. So. If I filter my view to dis just this display objects, I can see that these objects were probably allocated at the very beginning of playback. So I'll go back and select frame one. And now this is a top-down view of the call stack that leads to the object al allocations, but that's too much information, so I'll switch to bottom up. Okay, now Scout is giving me a report of all the objects that got allocated that frame, and there I can see my bitmap display object at the, ho at the top. And if I want to know what caused them to be allocated, I'll just open up this stack. And now I can see the entire call stack of functions that led to these objects being allocated. Now, if you look at the functions that made the calls, you can see there's some built-in functions, some starling. But what I really want to know is what functions I called. So I'll go back to my summary, open up ActionScript and the user packages. And the code for this game is all in com.hsharma. So I'm going to filter that. And then right away, I can see exactly what function calls inside my code base were the ones that ultimately led to these objects being allocated. So that's a really quick introduction. But as you can see, this is a really powerful way for finding out exactly what objects are taking up memory and when they're being allocated and when they're being freed up. The other cool new feature that's coming to Scout is up here in the search menu. And it's called Find, and you can hit it with Control F. Now, if you've used Scout before, you know that there's a lot of cool features for filtering. You can filter by ActionScript packages or by you know, kinds of ActionScript and kinds of memory as we've seen. Well, the find feature is a lot like that, except that you can filter on anything. So let's say that over here, let's, somewhere in my session, there's um, an object called item. So I'll hit Command F, type in item. And now my call stack is immediately being filtered to any string that includes item in either the function name or the package. And the same thing happens in the memory allocations as well. So this is a really quick, easy way to drill down exactly to what you're trying to find inside this huge amount of information that Scout gives you. Oh, and by the way, the same filtering happens over here in the uh, activity panels as well. So memory allocation tracking and a powerful new way to find what you're looking for. Just two cool features that are coming in the next version of Scout. Uh, this is Andy from Adobe, and I'll see you next time.